Fala família da NFL Brasil, Rafão Martins, estou na área direto do Rio de Janeiro, estamos aqui no Pão de Açúcar, tem dois jogadores da NFL que colaram por aqui para passar o carnaval, aproveitar o feriadão, Dawson Knox do Buffalo Bills e Bryson Hopkins, campeão pelo Los Angeles Rams. Trouxe a bola de futebol americano, trouxe a nossa redonda também para representar o Brasa, vamos tentar tirar umas brincadeiras daqui, fazer os caras jogarem a nossa bola também, será que dá certo? Bom, vamos acompanhar como é que vai ser esse dia, uma tarde com a rapaziada da NFL no Pão de Açúcar, simbora. Fala rapaziada da NFL Brasil, estamos aqui no Pão de Açúcar com dois jogadores da NFL, dois tairentes que foram muito bem na temporada. Menino Bryson Hopkins, campeão do Super Bowl pelo LA Rams. Tentei fazer representar aqui, mas tá calor pra caramba, tô suado pra, caçã, pra caramba, mas... E Dawson Knox, tight do Buffalo Bills, que fez algumas jogadas de impacto também nos playoffs. Guys, I'm, now I'm in English, so you... <laughs> I promise they're all great things that I was talking to, to the camera, ok? <laughs> so, first thing, I think, uh, I think like everyone wants to know, how you guys met, because you, you're in LA playing for the Rams and... Dawson in Buffalo for the Bills. So tell me a little bit about the story. Um, yeah, I mean, we just met in high school. Um, we played at rival high schools. I played at Brentwood Academy in Tennessee, and he played at Innsworth. Um, we were rivals for a long time. Um, I don't know when we officially met, but just playing against each other, you naturally, you know, just meet each other out and stuff like that. But um, over the last couple of years, we've gotten close just because we play in the NFL against each other again. But um, we always work out together in the off season and. Um, You know, I try to show him some tricks and stuff like that, but obviously he's doing something right. He got himself a ring, so. Mainly just, uh, we spend a lot of time together training in the off season, just because being both Nashville natives, and um, it's we got a really good trainer down there that knows what he's doing, so. Uh, shout, it's out it, Les shout out Les Whitley. Uh, it's just a great spot to be in, plus it's home. It's not far from where we live, and Nashville's not a bad spot to be either, so. Yeah, we just figured we, uh, Take a little trip on down to Rio, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing that I want to know right now. The Rio de Janeiro idea. Yeah. Like you're you you just you just won the championship and Dawson almost almost went there. <laughs> it was pretty close, it was pretty close. But the Rio de Janeiro idea, like off season just started and you're in Rio. How how it happened? Well actually our friend uh, Colton Powell over there sitting in the chair, uh <laughs> We, so we scheduled this back in November, is it really? Yeah. yeah, like early November or October is probably when. And then Colton called Dawson. Dawson obviously was like, yeah, I didn't even get time to ask. He just said, <laughs> yeah, all right. And then Dawson called me and it took me like, took him a good two minutes of persuading. Yeah, it was like two minutes. I was like, ah, okay, yeah, all right, I'll come down. And then we just booked it from there. And, and we've had a good time so far. I've only been here for a day, but yeah. yeah. I mean, Yeah, basically Colton called me. He was like, you want to go to Rio? I was like, yeah, let's do it. And then I called him. I was like, you got to come with us. I, I was like, just Google Carnival Rio. And he did. He's like, yeah, I'm in. And so that, that was basically it. Was easy. Well, it was an easy idea. Easy answer. Okay. So your, your guys are here for a day. It's not not that long, but I have to ask you guys, like, what what who you guys know from Brazil? Like celebrities? Maybe music. I don't know if you got any time to to get familiar with that, but some something. I want I want something. So all I've heard since we've been here is uh, Anita, and uh, and then obviously we know Neymar. Yeah. Neymar's my boy. You know we kick it sometimes. <laughs> at the, yeah, no yeah. lying. That's a lie. But yeah, uh, that's really all I know. And then all I've heard since I've been here is some house music. So I gotta hear like some solid Brazilian music before we leave. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I found out Giselle was Brazilian. I had no idea. Um, but yeah, uh, besides Neymar and a few of the soccer guys, I grew up watching like, you know, the Brazilian national team a lot in the World Cup. Um, but, you know, I really didn't know a whole lot of Brazilian celebrities, but we have been he hearing a lot about Anita. Um, so apparently she's, apparently she's the Brazilian Beyonce. So um, shout out to Anita. Awesome, awesome. And about the soccer thing, there's there's a, there's one thing prepared for you guys. Yeah, we're doing something. With the soccer, yeah, yeah. It's a promise, it's a promise. 
So sh just to round up the the interview, first thing, thank you guys for the time. You're enjoying, like, yeah. So, yeah. And now, one one moment from 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 the season. I, I I'm pretty sure Bryson have one prepared. <laughs> yeah. Do okay. So Dawson, I I talked with with Gregory Gregory Husso in the media center about the game, man. So I, I want your perspective. Chiefs and Bills, playoffs, what was wild, man. So I, I want I want I want your vision. Um, obviously, yeah, that was uh that was a pretty hard game, pretty devastating. Um but it was crazy. It was just an emotional roller coaster. Like, you know, we thought we had the game won. And then they go down and score, and then we go down and score again with 13 seconds. So, you know, we thought we had it all wrapped up, but um, obviously didn't pan out our way. Overtime was tough, but um, just one of those things, you know. Uh, things like that happen all the time, but uh, I think it's going to be a good thing to kind of fuel us going forward. I think it's going to be a good, like, you know, look back and remember how tough that was to get us to where we want to be. So it was, it was, it was frustrating to say the least, but uh, we're moving on. And like, there's obviously the the ultimate goal is to win championships, but I think those moments they like they stick with you. Like that, that's that, I, I think everyone that was watching that game, they were like, I imagine how it was like being a part of it. So it was a huge game. It was an instant classic. It was crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Bryson, yeah. I, just just give give me. <laughs> so you know, obviously. Uh, I'd have to say the Super Bowl. That was just a once. Not, hopefully, you don't want to say once in a lifetime opportunity, yeah. but for a lot of people, it is, or it doesn't even happen. So, um, just, just it was a good game all around. I'd been waiting most of the season just for some opportunity, a little more opportunity to get involved, and it couldn't have come at a better time, obviously. And uh, I think that um, I'm, I appreciate my coaching staff for having some trust in me and the plays that they were calling. And uh, obviously, um, when Kendall Blanton went down, you know. It was just me left, so um, I also got to give some love to the Lord uh, for helping me and, and, and sticking with me in that time. Um, but it was it was surreal. It was a afterwards, you know, you you sit there and you look around and you're like, did we just you just got to do we just win the Super Bowl? Did, did we just win the Super Bowl? And, and even though I was tired from that last drive, it just felt it felt amazing just to be a part of that. And it happened because Higby was out too, right? I, I saw that Weedworth has the shirt, like I'm, I'm carrying you. So, uh, tell me the about every everybody says like football is the ultimate team sport. So you, you're carrying a responsibility when you're the last guy and have to represent in the biggest moment of the season. How, how's that? Um, so Sean says it all the time, and I'm sure other coaches do as well. But it takes all 11. So, you know, everybody has a job that they have to do. And, and if you can exe execute your own job to the best of your ability and everyone does the same, then it's hard to say you're going to lose at that point if you've got the, the work ethic and the talent to go with that. Um, but it definitely took all 11 that game. I think a uh, biggest standouts obviously would be for offense, Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup just carrying their way and just having that leadership mentality. And uh, Matthew, I mean, he's resilient as all can be. So, I mean, I, we just got a lot of good character around the team and, and, and a lot of talent to back it up. So, yeah. You guys have awesome quarterbacks. Josh Allen, too. Like in the AFC, I think he's one of the most talked about guys right now. So I, I, I wish you guys have a great next season. It was an awesome one to watch. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Thank you. <laughs> But that's it. I know you guys are having a lot of fun. Have a great like week in Rio. If you need something, you have my cell phone right now. <laughs> and there's the soccer thing that we're preparing. So, so Bryson Hopkins, Dawson Knox, two awesome tight ends, promising tight ends for next season. And that's it. NFL Brazil in the house, Rio de Janeiro. Let's do it. Game over! Game over! <laughs> <laughs> he, he won the ring, though. <laughs> <laughs>